start by removing the top panel. You take the tool like this, lift up on the clamp like that, and we'll do it again over here. And with all the clamps going all the way around. And there'll be clamps all the way around. I've already taken most of them off. Once all the clamps are off, we can remove the top panel first. That's the first panel we want to remove. And then the next step is to remove the rest of the panels one by one. Remove all the clamps here, 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 here. The panel comes off, and then we go around the crate, removing all the clamps and panels one by one until they're all off. Now we're going to remove the front panel. We know it's the front panel by this little strip of wood that's on either side going up and down. I've already removed the clamps on this side, here, here, and here. I'm going to go ahead and remove the clamps from this side. Starting from the bottom, clamp, clamp. And then the front ramp pops off. And that'll be the ramp that we use to roll the machine off. Next step, we're going to remove any plastic saran wrap we have on the outside, followed by these shipping straps. That's one, two, Carefully pull the wrap away from the machine. Go up like this with the scissors. That should be sufficient. The last step before removing the printer from the crate and down the ramp is to raise all four feet. There's four feet, one in each corner. Once all four feet are up, then it'll be resting solely on the wheels and then we can wheel the machine down. There's a top nut that needs to be brought down before we can loosen it. We'll just manually bring that top nut all the way down. And using a good size wrench, Bring this foot all the way up. Now I'm going to do the same thing with all four feet. right there. Make sure we have a nice seal. 
And then you can roll the machine down. The machine weighs over a thousand pounds, so you're gonna want at least three people to help you bring this machine down, one on either side and one behind, pushing it down. I'm creating the machine. Inside the machine comes with two foam holders, one that's keeping the print in place, so we're just gonna carefully slide that out. Also carefully slide out. Next step is we're gonna remove the zip ties that keep the X bill plate in place as well as the HMS. First we're gonna remove the score. It may be locked over here, in which case we'll get the key from the accessories box. The key goes in the keyhole. This panel opens up and then the panel comes up and out. Then, again, three zip ties we're removing. One that keeps the X plate in place. That's one. That's two. And then the HMS also has a zip tie in place. That will cut as such. That's it.